<laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for watching. I'm warning you right now. I'm really irritated by today's clip, but I'm gonna try not to yell at you. Would I lie? A sure sign that we might actually be living under a real tyranny right now is the media and the Democrat controlled government working together to cover up their corruption. And I must say, doing it very badly. Almost as if they don't care if we know they're lying. This quote about living under Soviet communism describes it perfectly. Strap yourselves in for this one. But first, a quick message from our sponsors. Excuse me, folks, we'll get right back into the video. But first, I gotta show you something that I've been super excited to get in the mail, and it finally arrived. Flip City Magazine. I cannot tell you how excited I was to get a real printed magazine in the mail that I actually wanted to read. Not the spam junk that I'm typically used to getting, but something that's actually entertaining. Remember the old American tradition of mocking bad ideas and laughing at them? That's exactly what Flip City is. A satirical magazine for the culture wars. You all know my sense of humor, and I think you'll really enjoy this hilarious, 100% independent, uncensored platform. And let me let me tell you, they do not pull punches on this thing. I swear, when they say it's an uncensored free speech platform, they mean it. We're all fighting the culture wars. Flip City Magazine does it with art and comedy. Seriously, folks, go ahead and check this out. It's hilarious, and it's genuinely nice to get a real printed magazine in the mail that you actually want to read. And enjoy reading it without having to stare at a computer screen. Flip City Magazine wants you to laugh while it's still legal. So subscribe at flipcitymag.com or just click the link in the description below. And with the, uh, the, um, wait, what was that? Uh, I can't even remember it. Uh, <laughs> the foot him, uh, foot, foot. The, uh... Uh, the, uh, what is it? But do what now? I, what now? I mean, we, we need, we, listen, what we did? And with the, uh, the, um, wait, what was that? Uh, I can't even remember it. Uh, <laughs> the... It's almost like he's beginning to realize how tremendously absurd this entire interview is before the words come out of his mouth. Text messages. <laughs> Just all the stuff. I, I can't believe it. That said Donald Trump did horrible things in Russia. The oh, still right, dossier. Right, right. The still dossier, which we didn't believe from the start, I must say. Here. Excuse me, what? Is it just me or did he say that really weird? He says, steel dossier, which we didn't believe from the start, I must say here. But listen to how he says it. Still dossier, which we didn't believe from the start, I must say here. What the fuck? It almost seems like he's trying to cover up the fact that actual Russian disinformation was used by the Democrats, the FBI, and the media to try and overturn the 2016 election. Election results, laughably claiming that MSNBC never believed the Steele dossier. It reminds us that the salacious and unverified details in the Steele dossier are eminently plausible. Yes. yes. More but so every day. The right? salacious, yeah. I think, really, people, the mo they're mostly concerned that this is a Sorry, man. I should have said salacious. <laughs> <laughs> As if that even matters, because the point is the FBI used the Steele dossier as a pretext to spy on the Trump campaign and lied to get FISA warrants. Seems like an important detail to gloss over in your bumbling attempt to defend the FBI's integrity. Joe's about as good at this as he is being a rock star. <laughs> that reminds me of what we used to be. What are you lastly most passionate about? Politics or music? Oh, music. It's not even a close call. <laughs> the still oh, right, dossier. Right, right. Still, I say, which we didn't believe from the start, I must say, here. But I do want to read this first before you answer that question. It's from Wikipedia, and it talks about the Wall Street Journal uh, investigation. A comprehensive review in February 2018 of Strzok's messages concluded that tax critical of Mr. Trump represented a fraction of roughly 7,000 taxes. Listen to what he just said. Quote, the text from Peter Strzok, critical of Mr. Trump, represented a fraction of 7,000 texts. Except this is a bit like saying his texts were mostly peaceful. The amount of text that exposed Peter Strzok's corruption doesn't really matter. Don't forget that Peter Strzok was fired from the FBI in part because of texts like this. Trump's never going to become president, right? Right? No, he's not. 
We'll stop it! And you might be wondering, how are they gonna stop it? Well, Peter let us know here when he said, I want to believe the path you threw out for consideration in Andy's office that there's no way he gets elected. But I'm afraid that we can't take that risk. It's like an insurance policy in the unlikely event that you die before you're 40. An insurance policy! The Steele dossier, the Russian collusion hoax. And I don't know, maybe I'm alone here, but all of that sounds very insurrection-y. Almost like an attempted coup. Which would explain their endlessly repeated insistence that Trump attempted a coup. Because they always accuse their opponents of what they are actively engaged in. But yeah, Joe, you're doing a great job defending the FBI's integrity. Uh, which stretch across 384 pages and show no evidence of a conspiracy against Mr. Trump. Wilson. Despite that fact, I put that out there, the FBI makes mistakes. The church makes mistakes. People make mistakes, they screw up. Come on. Come on. That's all you have to say about this growing trend of FBI corruption that always mysteriously comes down on the Democrats' political opponents while simultaneously protecting Democrats. He says it's just people making mistakes, which sounds a lot like the excuse that we always hear from the media and big tech when it comes down to the mistakes they make censoring their political opponents. Come on! The Steele dossier to undo the 2016 election results. Letting Hillary off the hook despite her clear actions to obstruct the investigation. Which, by the way, was an investigation led by no other than Peter F struck comey lied under oath mccabe lied under oath ray lied under oath lying to fisa court so they could spy on the trump campaign during an investigation that was also led by peter F struck. the fbi telling michigan police to let protesters into the state building which begs the question why did the capitol police let people into the capitol who told them to do that why is this a question that's never asked at these fake hearings? FBI experts lying to justify the censorship and suppression of a story about Hunter Biden to protect Joe Biden before the election. Which, by the way, now has a growing list of whistleblowers who will testify that the FBI has been actively protecting Democrats while prosecuting Republicans. Or how about the time the FBI raided the home of a journalist allegedly to retrieve the diary of Joe Biden's daughter. Not to mention all all the FBI raids that have been done against people around Trump and that have gone nowhere and appear to be Stasi slash KGB like attempts to threaten those who would support Trump. This is just scratching the surface of course, but none of it mentioned by this MSNBC hack or any of the media for that matter. If Joe Scarborough didn't cause you to projectile vomit, the first few words from this swamp creature surely will. Have a bucket ready. Seriously. Uh, should this be any reason uh, for Americans not trust that what the FBI and the DOJ are doing now is in pursuit of protecting classified documents. Well, Joe, absolutely the American public should trust what the FBI is doing. Yeah. All right, folks, that's all I need to hear from this traitor who shouldn't even be walking free, much less paraded around national news networks to defend the FBI's integrity? If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It is crucial to helping the video's visibility as well as sharing it. Make sure to leave a comment and vent some of that frustration before you go. Thanks a lot.